Hello all, welcome to our new Payroll Plus HR Manager. Uh, here you can update your uh, employee details and you can add pictures and uh, their salary ranges. And attendance, you can mark the attendance, you can change the month and EO automatically this data will pick up. We can change any year so we'll go back to 2022 and we'll update in july and i have already updated some details here and so let's say let's you can you can delete uh, this and this for the sample and we can we can we'll change this to uh, this to annual leave you can add the annual leave and you can so the other employee can select as absent and you can go to the payroll transactions here you can update uh, employees salary earnings deductions and leave adjustments you can do it through here so let's go for lex matthew and select the transaction for earnings so under transactions earnings you can select uh, all time at yes uh, there are some classifications so say, let's say all time and uh, select uh, 30 dollars and save so and uh, if you want to edit this you can just go on uh, edit button and uh, change the amount uh, to 50 then update next you can uh, you can the same thing you can do for uh, directions so the, the direction is uh, the other recovery i'll just say 40 and save so there are two um, classifications we done that's a one for earnings and one for directions then now you can go for the process payroll here you can select um, you can select uh, july and process the payroll so the payroll is already processed um, and you can go for the reporting systems report you can select the leave status in this leave status you can filter uh, with the date range you can filter all the employee leave details and uh, you can select a particular uh, like uh, if inactive uh, employee details you can generate so there is one inactive employee and active employees these are all the active employees and you can filter through name range like uh, alex matthew i'll just generate the date so by employee name also you can filter the leave details let's go for the payroll summary details select uh, july month so you can see here um, the employee salary summary is generated you can change the designation to a department so department wise um, salary summary is generated and you can go for the salary details you can generate you can change the month to july automatically this is generated and uh, you if you want you can change the currency you can go to the settings and change the currency to usd and go back to reports salary details you can change july and it is converted to the currency Thank you so much.